Is there a new year or is it still 2019? I don't know, but you know. Um, but welcome back to Frog Detective, where we are finding out who is uh, who is uh, sneaking up on us, and we will also find the 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 the, the invisible wizard inside a house, and we will find out who ruined the party, the parade. So join me in this video, guys, and we will find out everything. Uh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> what is that? Who? What? He wasn't there before. What? Who are you? Where did you go? What? You saw him, right? It wasn't just me. It looked like a bald little thing. Hmm. Oh well. I guess I'll give you your pies. I found all of your pies. What? All of them? I think so. Yep, that looks like all of them. Wow! You must have searched far and wide. I searched this general vicinity, yes. <laughs> Wowie! Thanks, detective. As promised, here's one money. Got one money. You promised me one, one pie as well. I don't think you ever promised me payment, but thank you anyway. You're welcome. Oh, I'll give you pie too. They're delicious. I'm not very hungry. You can hold on to it if you like. No, we're gonna give it to Victor. Nonsense! Take one and eat it later when you're hungry. Okay, sure. Thanks. Thank you for finding my pies. Got a pie. Too many. Fresh pie. Yay. Done. Yeah. Amazing baker. <laughs> okay, so now... Here's your pie. Give item pie. Are you still hungry? Yes, very. And it's making me really rude. For example, I think your jumper is outdated. Victor, I'm not the most fashionable frog in the world, but I like this jumper. It's my favorite. You're right, it's retro. Not outdated. <laughs> I'm simply very hungry. I have a pie for you from Mandy. Seriously? Score! Yep, please enjoy it. Oh my gosh, that was amazing! And I feel so much less rude now. <laughs> really? Yup, you have beautiful eyes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh wow, thank you. It's true, and I think that color jumper suits you perfectly. Oh, you're making me blush. I should give you something in return for this pie. Hmm, I have a spare party hat that I'm not using. Maybe you could wear it. Alas, my head is simply too weird a shape. But we can give it to Carlos. Well, hold on to it anyway. It might come in handy. Thanks. Got the party hat. Yeah, there we go. Party hat. And uh, now we are solving the mystery. Is that thing here anywhere? Do you see him? No, I don't see him anywhere. Oh well. Carlos, give item party hat. Carlos, I have something for you. No way! It's a party hat. No way! <laughs> yes way! That's epic! <laughs> That's honestly the most epic thing I've heard all day. Thanks, detective. Not a problem. Incorrect. It was a problem. <laughs> and you sold it. Just like a true detective. Aw, thanks. You've made a fan out of me. Here, let me pay for your work. Oh, no, no, that's okay. Detective, I insist you take payment. One money should do it. Got one money. Thanks. Oh, I also found this rug I back. Not sure what use it is, but I figured you're good at solving these types of puzzles. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Nah, oh. You're so sweet. I'll find a use for it. Thanks. Best of luck solving the mysteries, detective. Okay, to Le Mayor, because now I have Le Rug. Yeah. Done. Oh no, I don't have a hat either. I could probably borrow one. It's fine. Am I even invited to the parade? I hope so. <laughs> oh, poor detective. Give item a rug. Great news! 
What is it? I found your rug. What? Holy guacamole! This is great news! Thanks for tracking it down! This should do the trick! Wow, it looks just like new! Hopefully the band won't notice the mess! I don't think they will. They're in the fish tank anyway. Why? One guess. They're... fish? Bingo! <laughs> Wait, do you mean to tell me you got the most famous band of all time? <laughs> The Market Buddies? Yep, they're on the way. Wow, I saw them live once and I was blown away. I can't wait. I'm excited too. I can't wait for the parade to begin. I better get back to work so I can solve the mystery before the parade starts. Before you go, I should give you something in return. I have one money. Oh? I have some building supplies over for when I made the stage. Is that enough? Sure, thank you. God building supplies? Plus one money. Oh oh no that that's okay. I was it was simply a favor. Don't be silly. You worked hard to get me this rug. I assist. Wow, thanks. Got one money. How many money do I have now? Four money. Okay, so one more. And I can give her her give the the rhino. Long snoot. <laughs> Okay, one more and I can give her uh, the rhino the money so you can get the ticket. Sup, Ralph? Uh, give him building supplies. Hi, Ralph. Hello, small frog. I managed to track down some building supplies. Oh, great. What exciting news. I'd love to use them if you're okay with handing them over. Of course. It's a building house. <laughs> Excellent, thank you so much. Of course, I must pay you for this. Oh, there's no need... really? Shh, I won't hear it. Please, take my money. Got one money, now we have enough to give her the thing. The, the money. <laughs> thank you. Now it's there again! It's there! What the fuck? Also, I think you earned yourself the title of Honorary Pirate. Wow! Really? Me? A pirate? Yes, you have the treasure collecting skills of the finest pirate. For this, I must award you with a special prize. Do I get a hook? Maybe? Here, take this hook. Yeah, got the hook. It's time to hook up with the... <laughs> with the, the Sally. What is that? Wow, what do I do with this? You can use it on your hand if you want. Or you can use it for something else. I'm not your dad! Oh, okay. Next time maybe you can be my dad. <laughs> not yet! <laughs> Sorry, I don't really know why I said that. I know! <laughs> All good. Enjoy the hook! Okay. Whew. Five money. And one hook. Done. Nothing new. Okay, what? And now it disappeared again. Why? <coughs> oh yeah, now there's stairs up there. And it's only a picture of him. <laughs> I wonder what that is. Is that the thing that destroyed everything? Give item hook. I'm back. You're back. Yep, I found your hook. Oh my stars. Thank you. I fixed my sign right away! That's okay. Wow! <laughs> I would like to repay you for this hook. No, that's okay. I got it for free. Nothing is for free in this world. Just kidding. Our society is really progressive and often things are actually free. <laughs> um. As a sign of my gratitude, please feel free to use my house whenever you need. Well, that's nice. <sighs> It's very simple, but beautiful decorated at least. And there was a phone inside of her house. So I give the the money to the, the rhino, uh, Mary. And she will give me the phone number. And I can go into the house and call it, whoever it is. Ah, maybe it's the wizard I'm calling. It's fairly simple, but beautiful decorated at least. I have a phone too. Great, I'll be sure to use it at some point. Thanks, Susan. Oh my god. It's all coming together. 
Done. Oh, so sweet. Can I do something with the phone? Hmm. Who should I call? I don't have any friends to call. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. Excuse me. I have the money for your extortion. Give item five money. Hi, Mary. Hey, detective. How's the extortion going? <laughs> I think I have your five money. Whoa, for real? I didn't think the extortion would work so quickly. That's excellent news. I'm really good at being extorted. I'll say. Anyway, do you have the information for me? Totally. Last night I saw the postman drop off a parcel. It was around the time that the parade got destroyed. I couldn't see who he was giving it to, but it was someone here in the town. Barney is the postman's name. He's a shield dude. I don't think he mind if you call him up. I have his number. May I have it? Absolutely. Got a phone number. Wow. Thanks for giving me this money. I'm really excited to visit Frookywood. I'm excited for you. Obviously, I have to wait until the parade is over. Of course. See you around, detective. Wow. No more money. Phone number. P okay. Uh, Who are we gonna call? Mysterious number. Hmm. <laughs> what a cool dude. Barney. Oh, that's a sheep. Oh, and they mentioned Barney in the other episode. Can't believe I'm wearing wool. What if it's Barney's? Hey, it's Barney. I have your speaker. Uh, hi, Barney. Hi. Who am I talking to? Hmm. <clears throat> uh, lobster cup. Whoa, really? No, I was tricking you. <laughs> Rats. Who is it? Noodle? I'm the detective. I'm calling about an incident that happened last night in Warlock Woods. I didn't do it. Do what? Whatever you're calling about. Wasn't me. <laughs> Are you sure? Mm -mm. What did I do? Last night, someone destroyed the parade which was being set up for new resident of the town. The Invisible Wizard. I was told you were in the area when it happened. Oh yeah, I was there. Didn't destroy anything, if that's what you're asking. Was just delivering a parcel. Who were you delivering it to? Uh, hmm. What was her name? Oh, Lola. Huh? I don't think there's anyone in the town called Lola. It must have been someone who lives there. Their address was on the parcel. Though I can't remember exactly which house it was, sorry. Hmm. Do you remember where the parcels were sent from? Oh yeah, I delivered a lot of parcels from them. It was from the wisbiz.net headquarters. <gasps> was it the blue shoes? That sounds really familiar. Where have I heard that name before? Uh, I know Mandy buys a lot of stuff from there. But this wasn't for her. Do you know what was in the package? Some sort of shoe, I think. Maybe two? A pair of shoes? <laughs> Did you get a good look at them? Well, it was really dark, so I have no recollection of really seeing anyone. Not even a face. Huh, weird. Warlock Woods is pretty dark, but I haven't had much trouble seeing anyone before. Me neither. It wasn't much more dark than normal either. All I remember is a blue dress with stars on it. Well, I'm pretty stumped in this case, Barney. Do you know if there were any clues left behind? A signature on the delivery slip or something? Um, uh, I didn't get them to sign it. But I remember something dropping over at the entrance of the woods. I tried to call out and tell them, but they stumbled off before I noticed. At the entrance of the woods, you say? I'll check it out. Huh. Let's go there. Okay. Ah. Uh, Barney. Motive. Accidentally crashes van into the decorations. Drove away without realizing. Cool guy. Didn't see who he was delivering to. Lola. Responsible driver. Had me on speaker. I should search near the Warlock Woods entrance for thing that dropped. Definitely suspicious. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Have I filled my... Oh, the pair of glasses there. I'll check them out in a moment. Are everyone suspicious now? Yeah. <laughs> was it this? This must be the thing Barney was talking about. Hmm, they're glasses. Got some glasses. <laughs> oh, they have name engraved on the arm. 
the invisible wizard. <gasps> well, this is my only clue left. I think I should try to return this to the wizard. He should be in the old house near Carl's shop. Wow, glasses. Let's go then. Hello? Hello, is anyone home? I found these glasses. <gasps> Loading! Are we getting inside? Ah! Oh wow! Hello? Pie? More pie? Hello? <gasps> I see you. Let's look around first. Anything behind here? A broom. Why are you hiding behind all these boxes? <gasps> An invisible wizard! Ah! NANI! <laughs> no! What the fuck? What the frick? Can I go here? No. Oh, now you're over there. Oh, <laughs> is it a snake? <laughs> Hello? NANI! <clears throat> Where are thou? Are you behind here this time? Yes. Hello. NANI! Oh. Oh. Why are there so many pies? Oh, it's the crab. Ah. Oh. Are you a fan? <laughs> wow. Are you the one who done it? Oh, who's there? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. I'm the detective. Oh, thank goodness. You're here to solve the mystery? Yes. Okay. Well, I don't know where my glasses are, so solve that as soon as possible, please. <laughs> Thanks in advice. <laughs> I found your glasses, I think. Are these yours? Ah, I can see you again. <laughs> that was so quick. You should get the promotion. <laughs> Though I don't remember calling a detective to solve this mystery, but I must have done. Otherwise... Why would you be here, right? Haha! <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, no. I'm actually here to solve a different mystery. Which one? I don't mean to ruin the surprise, but the town was setting out a parade for you. I'm sorry to tell you that last night someone destroyed it. I've been trying to figure out why. <laughs> was he stumbling around uh, because he didn't have his glasses on and... Destroyed it all. However, I've noticed that your house is littered with decorations. <laughs> uh oh. Where were you last night? <laughs> I was on this bay. I got some new shoes. I picked express delivery. And they arrived last night. Oh, so you're Lola. Yes. Back to my alibi. <laughs> I went to pick up my shoes from the delivery guy, and then I dropped my glasses. Oh, and that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, I think someone else must have destroyed the parade. Perhaps one of my enemies. You have enemies? <laughs> um, yeah. Who? The, the guy? E evil guy. Sorry, what? Enemy. Evil guy. My enemy. Evil guy? Yeah. <laughs> Are you making this up? No! Evil dude is really my enemy! <laughs> Don't you mean evil guy? <laughs> evil guy. Your enemy. Yes. Where can I contact the evil guy? Oh, he is not able to be contacted. 
He's very mysterious and is not available right now. <laughs> or even ever. Anyway, he must have destroyed the parade. Case solved. We did it. Well done. Wow. Too bad he's not able to be apprehended. But at least we can continue with our lives. Hmm. Yeah, he's not buying this. <laughs> Lola, are you being dishonest? Yes. <laughs> I am really sorry. It was me. It was an accident, I swear. You destroyed the parade, didn't you? Wow! <laughs> I didn't know the parade was for me. It was so nice. And I ruined it. When I dropped my glasses, I couldn't find my way home. I was bumping into everything. What happened when you got home? I had some chips stuck to me, so I ate those. And then I just hid. Why didn't you tell anyone what happened? I'm so embarrassed about it. I only just moved in and already I made a big mistake. I'm a very shy lady detective. I make myself invisible so no one can see me. And that must have been why nobody saw you last night. Yes, I suppose. Can you become not invisible? Uninvisible? Visible? If you assist. <laughs> Ta-da! You're a frog! Like me! Yes! I'm slightly disappointed. What? Well, it's just that I had a good joke prepared. I will do it anyway. <laughs> okay, so imagine that instead of a frog, you were revealed to be a lizard. Oh no! Okay, so you've been revealed, okay? Pretend! Okay, it's me! A lizard! Wow, so you're not the invisible wizard after all. <laughs> you're an invisible lizard! <laughs> or more like, you're a visible lizard. <laughs> hey, yeah, it was a good joke. <laughs> I thought so. Detective, are you gonna tell everyone? Hmm. I'm brand new, and it was a mistake. I'm worried that if you tell everyone what I did, they would be upset. I think they forgive you right away. But what if they don't? I want to make a good first impression. When we go outside, can you please tell them that it was evil guy? But that's a fib. A white lie, perhaps. But who is it harming, really? Evil guy. Evil guy isn't real. This is a moral dilemma, Lola. <laughs> Just like in my favorite episode of Poirot. It's your choice, detective. Let's face the music. So, do I get to decide what to do? You were suspicious after all. Lost their glasses, totally did the crime, not real motive, but still the culprit. Needs the glasses. Notes. Shy lady. A frog! Just moved in, made a big mistake. Lied about having a nemesis called the evil guy. Wants to tell the truth. About the evil guy. Okay. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Even Barn is here. <laughs> My name is Lola. Okay, everyone says hi, Lola. <laughs> hi, Lola. I am a frog. Yes, like me. We're so glad you can make it, Lola. I'm sorry that it means so much commotion trying to get the parade ready for you. Somebody destroyed it last night! Mary, don't tell her that. We're sorry somebody destroyed it, Lola. The detective has been trying to figure out who did it. <laughs> well, detective, have you solved the mystery? I hope it wasn't me. I'd be surprised if it was any of us. I wouldn't. Looking at you, Ralph. <laughs> what? Ralph didn't do it, Victor. How many times do I have to tell you? I just don't trust that guy. Rude! <laughs> I'm not rude anymore, Ralph. I had food. I don't think that's how it works. I didn't do it. Well, I guess we find out in a moment. Oh, go ahead, detective. Evil guy did it, Lola did it. Evil guy did it. We gotta stay together as uh, frogs. <laughs> 
Well, I solved the mystery. Who was it? It was... Evil guy! <laughs> Who? Evil guy is Lola's nemesis. He's a very evil guy. Yeah. He snuck in last night and destroyed everything. Because he hates Lola. Yeah. Unfortunately, because he's made out of slime, he got away before I could apprehend him. Yes, yeah, so unfortunate. However, Lola has since cast a very special spell that will make sure that he never returns. Wow, evil guy sucks! Yeah, I'm sorry he did that to you, Lola. It's okay. At least it was nobody here, right? Right. I'm sorry I couldn't catch evil guy. But now we know that Lola is safe and everyone is happy that she's here. Uh. Yeah, I'm sorry that I caused such a big mess. Really irresponsible if you ask me. I'm sure he feels really bad about it. I would want you to forgive him. Isn't he evil? Yeah, I thought he was evil. Oh, hey Barney. Hi. Yeah, he's evil. Evil guy. Well, case solved. Well done, detective. Thanks. Should we get the parade started? We didn't have time to fix up the decorations. Sorry, Lola. I know man at all. I'm just happy to be here. Let's party! Ooh, is it gonna be a dance competition here as well? <sighs> oh. <laughs> Oh my god, but he has a snout. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Good job, frog. <laughs> oh my god, this is so cute. <laughs> Yay! Great game. Let's see even more. Yeah, like last time. There is more after. So we're gonna talk to Lobster Cup again. A little bit later. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. The whole gang is it. Isn't that... Yeah, that's the band right there. Cool. Hello? Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. How may I solve your mystery? Detective! Supervisor! It's me, the supervisor! <laughs> I am aware. Great job solving the invisible wizard misery. That was quite the head scratcher. Sure was. I was shocked that the culprit was someone called Evil Guy. <laughs> well, yes. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I checked all my files and I don't have any information on an Evil Guy anywhere. You think with a name like that that he would show up right away? Maybe it was a one-off crime. Yeah, I suppose. I can't live like this! Oh no, is he gonna tell him? Oh! Supervisor, evil guy isn't real. I'm sorry to say so, but I lied on the report. What? I'll explain it in detail another time, but the real culprit was the wizard. She wanted to avoid the embarrassment, so asked me to pin it on a fictional character, evil guy. I did as she said, just to be kind. I'm not sure I made the right decision. Even if it's hard, we should always tell the truth. I understand. I'll hand in my badge. And my gum. <laughs> my gum! <laughs> what? Do you don't have a badge? Or gum? How would you even chew gum? You don't have any teeth. <laughs> so, I can keep my position here? Well, you're self-employed, so yeah. <laughs> but you should remember to tell the truth whenever it's safe and possible. I promise. It's almost disappointing that there were no such thing as an evil guy. I would love to solve a real crime one day. Well, that might come true quicker than you think. Whoa! I just got a call about the doozy of a case, detective. That sounds exciting! It is, but it's also the most challenging case I've ever sent you on. I'm confident in your abilities, but you might need backup on this one. Oh, like who? I'm going to send Lobster Cop to help you with the case. Nani? Really? Loves the cop handed such advanced cases. Won't I just slow him down? Nonsense, detective. You've shown that you're a very capable mystery solver. 
I think you're in the running to be the new number one. Ooh wee, you're making me blush. You'll be a okay. So where am I headed next? I can't say it on the phone. It's too sensitive. Wow. Head to the train station. I left a ticket for you there. The train will take you to where you need to be. Good luck, detective. Do you think you can handle it? I can handle anything! After the detective has left. It's the thing! It's the thing from the... Uh, what? Behind the building! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Who is it? Tell me! <laughs> Later at the station. <laughs> Ticket. <laughs> Frog detective, you don't have any shoulders. This is warm driving! Ah, <laughs> it's so cute! Oh my god! I can't even... Ah. <laughs> Jesus Christ! The detective will return in. Cowboy County! Corruption at Cowboy County! Wow! There's gonna be another one! That's awesome! <laughs> oh my god, that's so cool! I wonder when that will be, blah, 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 will be released. That was, that was all, that was the game. Cool! Ah! And this this video took the double the time that I thought it would. They said this game would take about an hour to finish. I've been playing this game for three hours now. So yeah, I've been playing this part for two hours. So I guess this this was a really long video. Anyway, if you, if you want to try this game as, uh, yourself, the link is in the description to the game. It's on Steam right now for about four dollars or so. But I mean, it's a really cheap game and it's super funny and it's so worth the money. So if you want to support the, the people making it and you enjoyed um, the game, buy it. This video has already been going on for too long. So let's just put the like on the video here and subscribe if you want to see more. And Great Troubles should probably already be out, so no more about that. So. Take care guys, and I will see you in the next video. There's no information about the case 3. Re! I'll keep you updated if I see anything.